Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. This time we're going to be checking out the RTX 4070 Super. I've got some uh, game results and we're just going to have a chat about it. So make sure you continue to watch. Okay, and so when it comes to the RTX 4070 Super, I have done uh, five, uh, four games, and I've also done some 3D Mark Port Royal. Now, when it comes to Forza Horizon, I've done two different types of tests. I've done it without RT and with RT. So, when it comes to the frame rate, when it comes to Forza Horizon on high settings without ray tracing. The FPS I got was 190 with uh, ray tracing. I did get a uh, frame rate of 179 FPS that was on high settings. And the power draw during that test was 130 watts. So when it comes to Starfield High, I did get a consistent 86 FPS during the game. And the power draw for that was 225 watts. Now, when it comes to Doom Eternal, I did do this on Ultra Nightmare. That's with all the settings maxed out. And Doom Eternal, when it comes to the FPS, I did get between 260 to 290 FPS. Power draw was 220 watts during that run. So, with Watch Dogs Legions, I... Uh, high without ray tracing i did get 112 fps with ray tracing high settings i did get a consistent 79 fps and when it comes to 3d mark port royal i did get a score of 13,333, and the fps average during that test was 68 fps Right then, so look, you've, you've seen some of the uh, the specifications, you've seen some of the gameplays I've done. Yeah, it's got high rate, uh, very high frame rate when it comes to Doom Eternal or, and uh, Forza Horizon. Now, when it comes to ray tracing, I didn't usually use ray tracing with my RTX 3070, so I can't really comment on the RT. Yes, it does look a lot better. I will say that. The lights and stuff does look a lot much, much better. and looks more realistic. Now, when it comes to the power draw, 225 watts. That was the max I saw it during a gameplay, which I think for a card that is this powerful is very, very efficient. My RX 7800 XT, I have clocked that at 350 watts during a game, and that was 100% pegged. So, you know, there's a bit of a thing when it comes to AMD and, uh, and NVIDIA, but NVIDIA are definitely winning on the efficiency. Now, when it comes to this particular graphs card, which is the Supreme X Slim from MSI, it's white, it's a slim version. Yeah, the temperature I did record during games, the highest I saw was 65 Celsius, which, to be honest, isn't bad. It's actually okay within spec. And, of course, there's one thing I don't really like about it, and there's just this 12-pin high-power cable. I'm not a fan of this cable. 
a, a five as well when it comes to them power supplies. I've got some of them power supplies here, but I didn't see the point in me changing a power supply from a test bench when this car got to go back to MSI. So I just used the power supply that was in my my test system, which the test system I used during the gameplay was a Ryzen 9. 5900x it's got 16 gigs of ddr4 ram from team group it's got a 500 gig uh sabrinth mvme drive that is for windows then of course and it's got a uh, backup and when it comes to the ssd it does come with a, a one terabyte uh, team group as well ssd uh when it comes to the overall motherboard it is a x570 pro wi-fi carbon from msi and of course it's housed in the 800dx from be quiet it's got be quiet fan the power supply is also a 650 watt power supply from be quiet and this system actually worked very very well i do like the the thought of rt but obviously because i never used it when i had a nvidia card that's why i went to amd because if i'm not going to use the features that you initially pay him for then i don't really see the point now when it comes to of course the performance it performed well it performs exactly as i thought but something you need to realize that this video isn't a review this is more of me just running some tests giving you my feedback and thinking if you should buy it now at this present moment it is on uh overclockers for 680 pound I honestly don't think it's worth it for that kind of money, but obviously if you're an NVIDIA fanboy or whatever, you know, then of course that's really up to you. I'm not really going to be someone who's going to judge you if you want to go this card or not. That's just you. That's up to you. My personal opinion doesn't matter when it comes to your buying decisions. And uh, of course I prefer AMD, but that's just me. Other than that though, I think the card is beautiful, it is a slim version and it does look absolutely sexy and I honestly think it's a good card, whether I buy it or not, I personally would rather performance, raw performance, that's why I went with the RX uh, 7800 XT because it was £570 but it also had the best value for the price. So look... All I'm going to say is a big thank you to MSI for loaning me this card and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe because I've got, oh, I've got loads of stuff coming. I've got a massive care package coming from Cooler Master. I'm still waiting on stuff from Thermal Grizzly. Thermal right, I'm still waiting on. I've got a few other bits and bobs coming. I've also got a giveaway that will be happening as well. So, yeah. This is Richard for Welch. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and week ahead of you. Goodbye.